Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my unboxing and first look of the Moby Slider. This is a compact camera slider from a company called Glidetrack. Before I unbox this, I'll let you know the actual website is mobyslider.com. But a quick tip for you, if you search for this on eBay, you can actually find Glidetrack selling this a little bit cheaper on eBay than on their main website. So save yourself a few pounds if you go to eBay and purchase this. So let's have a look what we get inside the box. Now, I've got a full size uh, glide track. Uh, I think it's a hybrid HD, which is a full size slider for DSLRs and larger video cameras. This is designed for sort of compact cameras, mobile phones, etc. And I was just very keen to have a look at this and see what it actually offered. So let's take this out of the packaging. If we can get it out. A bit tricky to actually remove. Oh, that is a tight fit. Let's take it out from this end. Well, here we go. We've got to take these bits out as well. That was just me being a noob once they're out. And this side as well. That's not very easy, is it? I didn't even think of that. So there we go. Once they're out, you can actually get into the packaging a little bit easier. Oh, dear me. Well... Just a quick word from me to Glidetrack, make it easier to get into next time. That was a bit of a hassle getting into that. But here we go, we're into the package now. Now there should be, as far as I know, some accessories in here as well. So you've really got to take this packaging completely apart to get to all the bits and pieces. So we've got a package there with some extra accessories in. And in this side as well, there are some extra bits and pieces too. So let's pop all that packaging over the back there. And let's have a look at the little accessories first, shall we? So we've got one pack here, which has got some instructions in, and this is gonna tell us all about using the system and what all the extra accessories are. And then we've got the pack of accessories themselves. So we have got a mobile device mount, so this can be used for mounting your uh, camera to the Mobi slider, or sorry, your, your mobile phone to the Mobi slider, and this can be sort of adjusted out for different size mobile phones, and it grips into place. Then we have got an adhesive mount, and then we've got another pack here with lots more mounts in, so let's have a look at these. So we have got an adhesive ball mount. We have got a little quarter inch slide mount, which I'll be using in a minute to show you sort of how this can be used. And we have also got an articulated mount. So again, this can be mounted onto something else, uh, perhaps onto this, for example, and then you can actually move this around so this tightens up the ball joints and allows you to get different angles on whatever you're mounting onto the Moby slider. And then we've got a quarter inch ball mount as well. So we've got this one here to use with the device. So all different mounts and different mounting options allows you to mount sort of compact cameras, small video cameras and mobile phones to the Moby slider. And then we've got the Moby slider itself. So let's get this out of the packaging like so. That was a little bit easier. And we have a closer look at the Moby slider. So here we go, this is it. So we've got sort of these, these balls on either end and these feel a little bit grippy. So when it's on sort of a desk or a table uh, or maybe you're balancing it up on a wall sort of to do vertical slides, these have got a little bit of grip to it. So that's really nice. Then we've got the sort of slider mechanism itself which slides up and down this machined rail and we've got a lock button, so we can lock it in place to stop it sliding. Let me see how that works. So we push that in. Does it stop it? Or do we push it and slide it? I would say that you probably just push this in. When I'm pushing that in, it doesn't really stop it. Urgh. Nope, that doesn't stop it. This meant to lock this. Well, not too sure on that. 
So we'll have a, a better look at that in a moment, but let's just pop this down. And this is sort of how I'm gonna be using it. I'll probably be using it with the little compact cameras. So let's just mount this onto the bottom of my S110. This is a Canon PowerShot S110. And we're trying to do this without any tools, but we can do it. There we go. So we put this little green mount onto the bottom. And look at that, it doesn't quite do up tight enough. So I'm gonna to have to put some padding underneath this. That's not a very good start. Uh, they're probably expecting a deeper mount on the sort of threaded mount or portion of that. So that's gonna need some extra padding. And then the idea is that this actually goes onto here, like so, albeit it won't be moving around like, so, like it is at the moment. And then we can turn this on and you can see here through the screen and the idea with something like a camera slider is you're going to be recording video and then we're going to be able to move this across our product and get some nice sort of sweeping shots on the product like so so it's got quite a nice smooth movement actually in fact that is very very smooth so i can certainly see this being a very useful piece of kit and then to remove it i assume that's the Let's just turn this off. I assume we can just slide this off of the mount, but it's not coming off. So a little bit tricky actually. This is not what I was expecting. Let's just remove the camera and see what's going on here. So these, these cost round about, I think it was about 80 pounds, something like that. We're almost removed. Yeah, this is a turned out to be a little bit of a fail video actually so this is in place there we go so you can slide it off this is meant to lock this into place maybe i'm doing something wrong but and this you're meant to push this way to unlock and the brake doesn't even seem to actuate on this that is very strange i'll have a closer look at that and report back to you on how this is functioning in my full review. But first impressions are that that's not too good. I can see it being a very useful piece of kit, but certainly not impressed with, with how this is actually working. Uh, just on the bottom here, I will make note that you can actually mount this to a tripod. So you can either use it on a desktop like this, or you can mount that to a, a tripod if you want as well. So this is the Moby slider, uh, good idea. Uh, not so good at implementation on these little bits. I'm gonna look further into that and maybe contact the company for some advice. And I'll just let you know my full opinion of this in the full review. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Please do give this video a thumbs up. Please do subscribe as always. I will see you all in the next one. So I just wanted to add on a little extra bit to the end of this video, just to say that I have worked out how this actually works and it is working properly. So I felt it fair just to explain that in this first look video. Now this rotational portion here, this is actually locked, but it hasn't got much sort of friction. So even though it's in its locked status, it does still turn around. And I was being a little bit heavy handed with it. To actually release this top rotational part, you push the button in and then it rotates a lot easier and then you can let go and it locks it into position. And then this little portion here, this has actually got just two positions. This is in its open position, so it's free moving like this. So it's sort of got no resistance really on the slider. And then you can actually push this in like so, and this gives you a little bit of resistance. So now we're able to create sort of slower, smoothing panning shots. And that's good because we've got some resistance so it doesn't just slide around everywhere. Now the one thing I will say that I'm still gonna contact the company about is it does say that it actually supplies two different size pads to fit in here and to swap it out for uh, a thicker pad uh, if you need even more friction on this slider portion here. Now I couldn't see that within my sort of little pack of goodies so I'm gonna be contacting them about that. And again, I'll update you as to whether that makes any difference to my opinion of the product in my full review. Thanks very much for listening to this extra portion. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.